Hello everyone, it's PyGuru this side and today in this tutorial we will learn how can we run python scripts inside silver bullet 1.4 So in the previous tutorial we learned the basic scripting where we learned uh, the if else and else if conditions loops uh, basically the while loop and jump statement Only further in this tutorial we will see some basic python script that we can run inside silver bullet okay so let's say if you are not able to achieve any particular thing using the blocks available here you can use uh, certain programming languages which uh, which silo bullet supports by default so for that what you have to do you have to just click on this plus icon then go to interrupt then you have to click on script okay then here inside the script you can choose which language you want to run for example i want to run uh, i run python okay so the version or the implementation of python that silo bullet uh, supports is the iron python so you have to click on iron python now there are certain limitations before uh, you can use python in silo bullet and we will discuss those limitations but before that let's uh, see the format in which we can run python scripts so once you click on a script uh, you will get two tags begin and end okay after that what you have to do you have to type a script okay and then here you have to type which language you want to use so let's say i want to use iron python let's say here it's set by default then uh, you can also select it doesn't matter so here you have to type iron python if you want to use javascript then you have to type j int yeah no js okay so it's up to you which one you want to use but the concept will be seen for any programming language okay then here in after the end uh tag you have to also write a script so begin a script then the programming language name and then end the script inside this you have to write the code that you want to run okay so we'll start with a very basic code but there's format that you have to follow first of all you have to create a function so in python you can create a function using def keyword then you have to type the name of the function let's say i will type sum of n terms okay i have a function what what it will do it will take a number n and it will find the sum of all the uh integers or, or numbers from 0 to up to n okay so what we can do we will like write a very simple logic for that so we'll start with total equals zero now i'm not here to teach you programming uh we already have bunch of tutorials for python on our channel you can check it out or you can follow any other youtube channel to learn python okay here i'm just showing you an example then for i in range 10 plus 1 uh, what i'll do i'll just add total plus equals i and then what you have to do you have to return the value so the basic format is this you have to create a function like this and you have to return some value from the function then only you will be able to use python few things doesn't work inside uh, this like you can't print total here okay uh, let's say instead of returning if you want to print total you cannot it will not be printed because print doesn't work in silo group okay similarly input will not work certain things will not work so there are certain limitations that you have to follow so basically the format will be this follow this simply create a function and return the final output from the function once you do it what you have to do you have to create a variable so i will create a variable let's say sum you can give it any name again sum is a keyword by default in python but let's say we are just going to use it then you have to call this function okay and here you could pass any numbers so let's say i want to find the sum of first 10 natural numbers so this is my complete script python script now if i just run this you will see nothing will happen so i that uh, about the status i'm getting none okay so here it simply says jumping to line 10 and it was ended after 6.0 cent so basically we do uh, we did uh, write this script but we are not using it anymore so if you want to use this uh, function you have to assign it to some value uh, variable in silver bullet variable okay so for that what you have to do you have to type this uh, symbol okay and then you have to type vars and then you have to type the variable name so you can keep the same variable name like here i use some here you can use the sum now we can just run it and see since i have written iron python here the interpreter will by default become iron python okay and then the variable whatever name you will give it will automatically come here so once i write uh, once i again run this 
you will see now I have a variable sum whose value is 55. So sum of the first 10 net uh, numbers or natural numbers is simply 55. So this is the basic concept of scripting using Python in Syllabus. Again, uh, so what we have to do, you have to create a function. You can do anything inside this function, but you have to return the final value. Remember this, once you have created a function, you have to assign, call this function and store this in some variable. And once you do it, after the script ends, you have to store it in a silver bullet variable. Then only you will be able to use this. Otherwise not. Okay. So this is the first thing. Now the next limitation. The first limitation was you cannot use print or input statements. And there may be certain more things which you cannot use. But uh, you have to find it out yourself. Okay. The next thing is uh, you have to find out which uh, version of Python your silver bullet is supported. Now for that we have to use certain uh, libraries or modules. So first of all we have to know which libraries or modules we can use. The first thing that you have to keep in mind is that you cannot install any external library. For example you cannot in install request for Andas or anything like that. Okay. So remember you are not here to do programming. You are here to do basic scripting and help you in doing syllabulet. Okay. Faster. So, if you want to do programs, you have to use Python interpreter. Here, it's only for basic things. So, so for that, what you have to do, uh, if you want to know which libraries you can use, you have to go to Silver Bullet folder. There will be a folder named lib, go inside this. And these are all the uh, libraries or modules available, which you can use inside your Python programs. Okay, so now using few of these, we are just going to use, uh, find out which version our which version of Python is supported by my version of Syllabulet? It may be different for you. Okay, so for that, what you have to do inside the script tag, uh, let's import. Uh, I'll first let's say use a platform. Now this is a default module available to us. Okay, so you can change the function. Let's say I will uh, type Python version it will not take any external variable or anything like that no argument i'll just call here remove the argument pass and here i'll type version and you don't have to keep the variable name same as this one you can keep it some or anything that you want to uh, now we just have to change the logic so here we can simply type return sorry Return platform dot python version okay now if I run this this should give me the version of python that I am currently running here I made a mistake sorry for that we have to keep the variable name same otherwise you may get some error uh, okay so here uh, let me just check if I'm getting it or not. Yes, could not find the variable sum. So if you want to use it, you have to keep these variable names uh, same. Uh, previously I said you can change, but no. You have to keep it same, okay. Then after that you have to run it. And here we can see the version is 3.410. The current Python version, uh, the latest Python version is 3.13. But it is... 3.4 so very old version it is we have to keep in mind that you can only code python scripts uh, below this version 3.4 you cannot write any code which is uh, any you cannot use any code or a uh, keyword or any statement which is available after this version so you cannot use features of 3.5678 like that okay so keep this thing in mind uh, this may be different for you, but anyways, on my system, it's different for. Now, obviously, we are not here to do things like this. Uh, let's say what I want to do is, I have a, let's say, user uh, email. So, let's say anything at the rate email.com. And I have some password. Password123, okay. So, like this. Now, let's say you are uh, using some website, you are writing config for certain website which says that you have to convert this password into base64, let's say, or you have to convert this in MD5 or anything like that. Though we functions for that specifically, 
like uh, if I want to convert this into uh, now let's say MD5 so what we can do we can go to what you can do you can just go to plus and then uh, you can go to maybe functions crypto and then hash and then from here you can select to various hashes available like MD5 SHA1 or 256 anything like that okay so let's say for uh, any purpose I don't have this function available and I want to implement my custom function so what I can do I can just ask chat GPT help me write python function to convert a string to md5 hash ok so basically it will uh, write the python code so what I can do I can just copy this List I copy from above. And I can just replace this. Okay. Now create MD5 pulls uh it's imported a library. Now Haslib is available by default. Okay, you can use this. Uh you can also check if it's available or not by going to this here folder here and you can find it Haslib is here or not so gh ok so here Haslib is here so you can use this now I don't need this doc string I can simply remove this and return this uh, looks simple so I'll just type md5 equals uh, string to md5 Now let's uh, try with a simple string. Okay, so I want to just convert, let's say, hello to MD5. And since we have given the variable name as MD5 here, I have to type MD5 here. Now I can just run and there's some issue. So it says uh, error info line 15. We have some issue here. Let's check what is the issue actually here. It should be equal to. So uh, I have given passed hello here and it's returning with this md5 has of hello here ok so it looks good but what you have to do you have to convert our password to this so for that we know in uh, thriller bullet we can use pass like this so uh, for hello it's uh, ending with 7c5.2 and for uh, this password 1 to 3 it's ending with w5 uh, f4 so this is how you can use basic scripting. Just keep in mind uh, two things. First, you cannot use any external library. Okay. And you can only use code which is supported by your silver bullet version. Okay. Of Python. So yes guys, this is it for this video. In future tutorial, I'll try to create a complete uh, Python function to uh, and convert to uh, silver bullet scripts. So give you a very good understanding of the entire uh, process. So I hope uh, you learned something here. If you love this video, leave a like or dislike. If you have any doubt, ask it in the comment section. Thank you. See you in the next tutorial.